Spider-Man, here to lend a hand? Thought you might need one, officer. You don't know the half of it. Never seen anything like this devil's breath stuff. Forensics is having a hell of a time. News reports say this is where Otto released Devil's Breath. Might have left some residue I can track. Hmm. Some residue on this sign. Maybe I can isolate it. AT Rich Leader Sequence. This looks promising. Corpse modified CPF-1. Definitely Devil's Breath. Should be able to track the dispersal path now. Trail goes in a few directions. Need to find the right one. Vapor Trail heads up that building. down into those vents. What was Otto doing up here? Should be a door or an access hatch around here. Well, this is moody. There must be some way to hit the lights. Let there be light. Was Otto using this as a staging ground? Chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. Martin Lee. Can't believe this is the same man I knew at Feast. Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. How long have they known each other? Looks like Otto recorded messages for his crew. When I first realized it was you targeting Osborne these past weeks, I was shocked and saddened. But then, as the situation evolved before my eyes, I felt... inspired. You took the bold steps I had always dreamed of, Martin, and you took them without hesitation. I am honored now to join you on this path towards true justice. Otto's rage is driving him. The neural interface is exacerbating it, but his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. Looks like Otto's been studying Sable's tech for weaknesses. collects his accolades, and keeps his boot heel pressed against my neck. Why can't anyone else see how selfish he is, how reckless, how evil? If only they could be made to see the Norman I know, the man behind the mask. Oscorp has snaked itself throughout the city. Power, communication, public safety. Norman made his company essential, but also fragile. If a disaster were to occur, and a few small pressure points were tweaked, it would all fall apart. 
The public would see Norman for what he is, a leech on their lives. Yes, just a few simple steps, and he would be ruined forever. How many men would I need? Well, let's see. First, some kind of disaster. A hurricane, an earthquake, or a plague. Next, assaults on Oscorp's power grid and emergency relief send the city into chaos. Let the people see the truth about Norman. Yes, just a handful of men. No more than a half dozen. A sinister six. Martin has been arrested. Norman looks pleased, believes he's safe. He has no idea. He's just put all the rotten eggs a man might need into a single basket. With Martin in raft, alongside Scorpion, Rhino, Vulture, and Electro, a single swift kick is all it would take to send those eggs tumbling down the hill. Straight at Oscorp and Norman. Yes, just one small kick. I think it's time for me to lace up my boots and climb the hill. This is my final recording. Peter, if you're listening to this, please know that I did what I thought was just. It may have been extreme, but when it comes to Norman, half measures will never do. Of all that I risk by taking this next step, the loss of our friendship will pain me the most. I hope that if we meet again, it will not be on opposite sides. Good old Rhino, my second favorite Russian. Alexei, I've followed your career with great interest. The world sees you as a witless dullard. I see a warrior with a poet's heart. I know you desire freedom from the battle suit you're sealed inside. Help me achieve my goals, and freedom shall be yours. Otto developed a corrosive to free Rhino from his suit. A certain government agency spent years trying and failing to do that. Only took Otto a few days. Old man Vulture. I've tangled with him more than anyone else here. Power source for Vulture's wings gave him spinal cancer. And Otto's developing an experimental treatment to save him. Adrian, what bitter irony that your miraculous wings should have brought such horrors on your body. Thankfully, you are now working for me. When our work is settled, the treatment I've developed will cure you. You won't shuffle off this mortal coil just yet, my friend. Electro. Total live wire, that one. Electro's big pipe dream is to become pure energy. Doc actually managed to modify his harness to get a little closer to that goal. Max, when you first conveyed your dream to me, I thought you insane. Pure energy. <laughs> but as I dove deeper into the problem, I discovered a way to give us both what we desire. I promise you, when we are done, you will be pure energy. Or so close to it as to make the difference irrelevant. What's this now? Otto must have used this map to plan, but it's blank. Unless there's something here I'm missing. UV bulb. Huh, nothing happened. Must be a way to get that lamp on. Mac Gargan, aka Scorpion, aka Crazy Pants McCrazy.
Scorpion's helping Otto in exchange for a clean slate. Criminal record expunged? Gambling debts erased? It's rare for me to admit this, Mr. Gargan. Clearing your debts was more difficult than I anticipated. You are in arrears to some demanding individuals. But once the reservoir job is finished, your financial obligations will be finished as well. Otto Octavius is nothing if not persuasive. There we go. Hidden markings. Otto's tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's what's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. Rhino's targeting Oscorp shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp-owned property. Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely, Norman. Lee's going after the Devil's Breath Anti-Serum. Using something called Icarus? Icarus, this is it. Hello, Spider-Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm o Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? For a man like Octavius. Backup plans for his backup plans. MJ, hey! Pete, are you okay? What's happening? Traffic's rough. Listen, Lee's gunning for the anti-serum. We need to find Oscorp's Devil's Breath lab before he does. On it right now. I'm pulling every building permit in the city. If there's a record of the lab, I'll find it. That's great! Okay. Uh, uh, talk soon, MJ! Trap failed? Softened him up. Time for plan B. can damage him if I web the transformer. Uh. 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 
Spider-Man! I must break you! Ah, you got it! You got my joke! I'm so happy I can almost stop fighting! Almost! Gotta be honest, liked it better when you two were loners. Amazing what a little teamwork can achieve, ain't it? Ah! A vigor of youth, the wisdom of experience, a fine pairing. Just like oil and water, sure. <laughs> I saw that in my feelings. My chance. Stun or surprise him. Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. need to catch my breath. What time? Oh, man. Need to update Yuri. Yuri, Vulture and Electro are down. Four to go. I saw. Also noticed a rooftop in Times Square exploded. Wouldn't happen to be related, would it? Nothing gets by you. It was Octavius' staging ground. He's using the villains to pull apart Oscorp. Vulture and Electro were targeting power plants. Scorpion's going after water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Something along the shoreline. That's good enough to start. I assume you're going after Scorpion? Yeah. City's already on the brink. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. 
I'll update you when I make progress. Sounds like a plan. No sign of Spider-Man. I should check on Miles. Hey, Pete, you okay? That's what I was gonna ask you. I'm fine, but you and May are in the middle of it. We're busy, but people need help. And I'd rather be doing something than waiting around for somebody else to fix things, you know? Yeah, I heard that. Just make sure you protect yourself. Mask and gloves. And rest every now and then. All that goes double for May. There's the reservoir. No sign of Scorpion. Better take a closer look. Well, if I was a mercenary dressed like a scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! <laughs> Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. Damn it! What did he inject me with? Whoa! What the... Is that... a sea of poison? Can't be! This can't be real. It must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground, and analyze whatever he injected me with. Okay, should be safe for a minute. Need to analyze the neurotoxin, so I can create an antidote. Scorpions made some upgrades. Hallucinogenic neurotoxin. My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. I have to create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. There's the greenhouse! Eclipta Alba should be inside the greenhouse. There it is. Don't worry. Is that real? We're in my mind. It can be both. Duck? It's just the hallucinations intensifying. You can get through this. Doc? You sound... Like I did before the neural interface affected my mind. My obsessions were always there. But the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Ah, uh, Pete. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility, even when there's no hope. I can't tell you how many times unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I really will. I'm sorry. There's the Eclipse Alb. Antitoxin to mix a permanent antidote. One of Harry's research stations was developing a synthetic atropine. Gotta get there fast. Giant deadly scorpion tails. Lovely. Thanks, brain. How's it feeling, spider? Raw panty crawling up your spine. Scorpion? How'd you get this number? Always asking the least interesting questions. It's not how am I calling you? It's am I calling you? Maybe I'm just the fever stream with your dying brain. It's real or no? When I cure this poison, I'm coming for you, Mac. Talk <laughs> oh, little bug. Have fun chasing pink elephants. I want to know what Floyd would make of those. There's the research station. 
We need that atropine. Atropine's right there. Atropine's gone. Not again. You're too late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Oh, but it is me. The me polite society found in The parts of myself I suppressed. But you helped me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear it. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. You are the poison. Everyone you touch suffers. Stop running from me. Let me try. I want nothing from you. You're a failure. You bring nothing but pain! No, stop! I'm not giving up on you! Please, just talk to me! I can help you! So you can treat me like all the rest? Containing me? Suffocating me? No, I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter, taking notes, stealing ideas, a rat in paradise. The atropine. Got the atropine. Now I just need to mix up the antidote. Looks like I'm headed back to the lab. Deal with that. And nearly cured. Sorry to bust up your plans. Oh, well, don't worry. There's plenty of surprises left for you. We'll be seeing each other again. Count on it. I need to mix the antidote. Finally, the... I think not. You're in my domain now. You're just like Osborne, trying to steal my genius. Everything that happens now is your fault. I knew you were... Thought I forgot about you. Scorpion, are you even real? Hold still, I'll show you. That gave me an opening. Another hallucination. At least he had an imaginary glass jaw. Not gonna be that easy. Now I know you're the poison trying to distract me. One down! Got it! You're a loser! All you'll ever be is a loser! Let him get to me. Nice. Just a few more left. Another one down! Barely stand up. There's the centrifuge I need. Finally, I'm running out. I can feel it. Where'd my suit go? I think I took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just. Go ahead and forget that ever happened. MJ, hey, 
You mind if I toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you? When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? Not obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Okay. I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? Oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and May. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. Bunch of convicts even do this. Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. Need to distract what? him. Hacking app should work. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Better hurry. Freaking intense. Dude's got issues, man. Should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Gauze, iodine, but no antibiotics. I need to keep looking. Both of them are. Very clear. They're on our side. You two, get over here. All right, all right, all right. Sector sweep. Heard something. This can stop right now. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. This can stop right now. Just give us the locations and schedules for your supply points. I don't have that information. Why are the super dudes so set on taking out these relief centers? Something about Osborne. They want to show how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of trauma. As long as they let us keep all Another the supply tent. Find, I don't no care. trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Gotta yeah, avoid man. that sniper. Exploding bulldozer. Supply loops and schedules. Now! Just as out! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <laughs> 
Not need to see that. my exit. You let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha, <laughs> kids right. got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. 
Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. I think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. The situation at Grand Hey, MJ, what's up? You okay? I'm fine. Combing through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but... Do you remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten-hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How could I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. It just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. We could throw away a whole day looking for fat pizza just cuz. Now it feels like if you take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah. This adult thing is rough, but I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own Staten Island adventures in safety. Kind of a circle of life thing. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what put the team up? Thought you were a loner. Ah, means and ends, folk. All of life is means and ends. <laughs> So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! No more fuse! No more rhino! Ah! I always like this suit! So distinctive! Be thankful, folk. Without suit, I make less trouble for you. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorp, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I did so Beg him to give up? Yes, God. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! You know, I won't tell anybody. Then leave your skull uncrushed. Very funny. Do you 
know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you, freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready.